break the law, commit civil disobedience. And if they come at you saying, we're going to lock you up, say, good. You know, you locked up Gandhi, you locked up Martin Luther King, you locked up Rosa Parks, and at the end of the game, you look stupid for doing it. So go to prison. Don't be afraid to spend a few nights in a prison cell reading books, because you know what? Break the system. And have a great hump Okay, watch your fingers. <laughs> Okay, we're going in. <laughs> He's going to get all hurt this time. a law that's causing more harm than the problem it's trying to address to talk to people, educate people, and change it. And that's what we're doing here in a beautiful, not very fast process, but in a beautiful process. <laughs> Most policemen just think if there's trouble, it's because those people have been messing around with drugs. Alcohol, hard drugs, marijuana, and they put it all in the same ball, all right? So marijuana has the problem of being in there with the alcohol and the hard drugs in the mind of a police officer. Our hair looks like so at Hempfest right now, sensiblewashington.org, son of 1068. Dr. Carter will be working on it, I will be working on it, Vivian McPeak will be working on it. We will be back and we are going to pass that motherfucker next year. I want your help, sensiblewashington.org. I need your help. Go there. Help us today. Donate. Donate to Sensible Washington. Donate to Hemp Fest. But only we can do it. We have to do it. If every single person that came to Hemp Fest got five people to sign next year, just five, how easy is that? Register to vote and sign. We would have double our numbers, marijuana would be legalized, and the world would be beautiful. Beautiful! that kind of green power and we will deliver to you an entirely different and new kind of green power by next November when you have a chance to vote to legalize marijuana in Washington State. Complete repeal of prohibition is real reform. Help me, Greg Carter and others do it. We save patients, we save you, we save the environment. 80 bands, 90 speakers, 5 stages, this is all free. You can't do this anywhere else in America. Well, I'm going that direction, but... Uh... Because we made a promise to you 19 years ago that we're going to do this until we legalized it. And we are serious about that. You can't do it without your help, so please kick down a half a nut. A half a gram. Ten bucks. A half a gram, man. My feeling is, of course, it's a racist law and it's a classist law. If you're a rich white guy, you're pretty safe. If you're not wealthy, if you're not well educated, if you're on the streets, and if you're a person of color, you got a real serious problem. And that in itself is reason to take a hard look at this law.
after they kick your doors in and take your kids away to say, well, I have a, recommend a prescription. They'll say, no, you have a recommendation from a doctor to smoke marijuana because it's something that they think could help you out personally. There is no prescriptions for legal pot yet. I have nothing against psychoactive effect, but the reality is when you get a plant that's 15% THC and 0.1% CBD, it doesn't have the full range of effects that the plant is capable of giving medicinally. And cannabidiol, we now know from work that's been done overseas, is a very good anti-inflammatory. So it, it has other, other uses too, but for rheumatoid arthritis and, and certain conditions, we don't want a high THC plant, we want a balanced plant or even a high CBD plant. Some of them call ganja So you got to legalize it If don't criticize it And I get introduced all over the place as that marijuana guy, or the board member of Normal, or, you know, with the ACLU. And a lot of people cringe. My staff cringes, because my staff is worried about, you know, are we going to be in business next year? Um, I've got, when I get underwriting for my TV show, I've got, you know, they're all wigged out about, what are you going to say about marijuana? Uh, and uh, when I get a gig to write for a big magazine, they'll say, well, promise you won't tell everybody to go to Amsterdam and get high. Uh, you know, people are... People are, business people are really nervous about this. I think the business community is behind the politicians, and the politicians are behind the public. And it's just an evolutionary thing. Politicians are learning. You, Senator Cole Wells right here. All over the country, I've been talking to politicians. This is not so radical to them. I mean, they don't, they're realizing it's no longer political suicide to talk smartly about this issue. It's still, they've got a lot of fish to fry, and this is just, why do I want to get involved in this one, you know? But uh, I think that we've made a lot of progress in that way. Why did you come to Hempfest today? To get lit. Um, just to chill with my friends and stuff, like listen to all the speakers and music. Support the legalization of cannabis. I'm a medical marijuana patient and a member of law enforcement against prohibition. Why that coffee? Because I wanted to get an awesome piece and get stoned and have a good time. All right. Smoke weed. Uh, basically just to look around. I always go to the Olympia one. This is my first year actually at the Seattle one. Because uh, it's Tempest. <laughs> <laughs> to get high. <laughs> uh, okay. So I wanted to see what's going on. Uh, check out the sports activities. I thought it was pretty cool. I like to come meet people. Oh, you know, people are dying left and right. I, I lived in Mexico and like you know the, the cartels are killing people left and right. And nobody's saying anything about that. We need to be taking care of this. And it's a simple thing of just making it legal. <laughs> I, I came to him fast to you know smoke some weed, enjoy the people, and the atmosphere, like it a lot. Because I've never been here and I've wanted to check it out and be something that uh, I could say I actually did. To hang out with these girls who I've known all my life. <laughs> just to check out the scenery and just kind of <coughs> see all the beautiful people in Seattle. Uh, well, I'm the staff director of Hempfest and so I thought I should direct a staff like I've been doing for the last 14 years. A lot of reasons. Um, because it's Hempfest and it's the best day ever. <laughs> I came here just to experience Hempfest for this year. I've been here a couple of years, so it's just different every year. Uh, I've never been. I heard about it. Heard it might be fun, so I came home. I came here to volunteer. Because it's a tradition for me, I come year after year after year. Oh, I came here to produce the largest cannabis policy reform event in the world. Sleep deprivation. The waters, they're good for my health. Testing is a way they are discriminating against.
Americans. How many of you are ready for our equal rights for all cannabis consumers? What do we want? We want equal rights. When do we want it? Yeah. What do we want? Equal rights. When do we want it? Yeah. What do we want? Equal rights. When do we want it? Yeah. You sure that is right. It's our time. This is our moment. We need to get rid of prohibition once and for all so that we can live free and equal in our own country. Excuse us. No stops till 420. Coming through. Hey, can all you fucking stoners yell again for this guy? Yeah. Oh, it's a, like a motion camera. I've been probably wondering, why did you stop moving? Because I'm high as hell right now, here at HempFest. I'm glad you guys made it here mostly on time, too. That's good, because you know it takes stoners three to five tries to leave the house for any type of shit. Hey, man, I'm ready. Oh, my keys. Shit, wait a minute. Okay, I'm ready now. All oh, my money. God damn it. Hold on a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, I'm ready. Where are we going? It's cool. Are you guys getting ready? What is your preferred method? You like a bong? You like a bowl? You get high enough. Hey, what's up, pizza man? It's me. We want to, uh, uh, let me call you back. Is it almost 420? Give us an H! H! Give us an E! E! Give us an M! H! Give us a P! P! What is that spell? H! What is that smell? H! What are we gonna legalize? H! All right, cause I think it's 420 now! Everybody, don't bogart that joint, my friend. of marijuana. I'm not in favor of smoking marijuana. I don't think it's for kids. I don't think you should drive while intoxicated. I think the law is causing more problems than the drug problem itself. And I think bottom line, the adult, responsible, recreational use of marijuana is a civil liberty. You see how clear that was? Listen that long, and if they got half a brain, they see you're not evil. It's okay for them to arrest you, trash your house, terrify your family. Take you all downtown, seize the plants, and let the lawyers sort it out. And later, you can bring up your defense in court. Right. The court is ruled that's okay. Now, not every jurisdiction does that, but many of them do. Hey, did you guys set this up here?
that when we get our ballot initiative filed next year, we're ready to go. We got all our people coming online. through. while the rest of us went out and got high. Jack Hara was there when High Times Magazine put him on the cover in 1994. And you know something? At that moment, that was the best-selling issue of High Times in its history. Jack Hara is a true hero. You guys are the epitome of freedom. You are living your life. You guys are the most beautiful people in the world. There's nothing better than the cannabis culture. There's no place I'd rather be. No place I'd rather be. Party on. Do it. Be free. Deal with your cannabis. Consume your cannabis. Be the cannabis culture that's going to take us to freedom. I love you guys. How did you get here? We drove in carts. I got here with my car. I drove. Uh, I drove. We drove from Albany, so. Okay, so, drove. Our trip. Yeah. so we drove from Wenatchee, Washington. I drove? By bus and walking. Uh, bus. Uh, well, I flew from Ohio. Here. I busted. How did I get here? I walked. You walked? Yeah, I'm a G. We drove. My friend over there brought us. Drove. Oh, well, I drove my um, antique hippie bus here. She drove me. I drove a car. Uh, I took the ferry and then walked over. So I over. In my car. I drove. <laughs> <laughs> we got here actually by the bus and the sound transit. Oh, we came with the yeah. bus. I took the bus from Gold Bar, uh, Washington, to oh, get here. Wow. Yeah. I just took the bus. I got here with Joe Metro. I drove. I want to thank the lawyers, men like Doug Hyatt who defend those medical marijuana patients from police discrimination for peanuts if they get paid at all. Of the man, the man, the federal chemical, pharmaceutical, military, industrial, transnational, corporate fascist of these son of a bitches. We need to rediscover a cash crop, one that will allow our farmers to go back to the land. One that will allow our farmers to compete with the petrochemical pipelines. You plant U.S. 7% agricultural land in here, you will have to import another drop of oil. We can replace the spills in the Gulf. We can replace the uh, environmental catastrophe that the petroleum pipelines have cast upon Mother Earth and instead let our farmers grow hemp as a fuel crop. I encourage you to learn the law. I encourage you to learn the political process. I encourage you to reach out there and take responsibility for your own freedom. Live your life like a warrior. God bless you all. Thanks for having me out here in Seattle. Actually, after Kellogg's dumped Mark Phelps, Michael, Michael. Michael Phelps, Michael. Subway Sandwiches started an ad campaign called Eat Subway Sandwiches and Feel the Buzz. <laughs> it's serious. Check it out. We are just about done. Uh we're the first day of the 2010 Seattle Hemp Fest, our 19th year, and uh, things like we pulled it off. Uh, people are coming, people are still going. Uh, Rage today, no major accidents or incidents that we're aware of, and uh, some of our new models, uh, our new ingress and egress worked, and our delineation of the path seemed to work pretty well. 
There's some ominous clouds over there. I hope it's not rain coming. Uh, that was the forecast, but uh, we don't necessarily believe in that. And uh, we're hoping to do it one more time tomorrow and pull it off. And then she smokes it one time, finds out that it's real medicine, and then almost within the same clue she says, then I realize how much they were lying to me. I've been lied to my whole life. Are you sure? Your voluntary contribution can help keep Hempfest alive. Your $10 contribution is greatly appreciated and not required for entry. If you wish to avoid the line and go directly into Hempfest, you can take advantage of our membership entrance by purchasing a $25 minimum membership at the gate. The Hempfest membership entrance is located on Alaskan Way and Coast camera. just south of the fountain. Other perks to a Hempfest membership include free access to members-only events throughout the year. Not only can you purchase a membership at our membership entrance during Hempfest, you can purchase a membership online anytime by going to Hempfest.org. This man put this whole thing, started this whole thing, and we watched yes. it grow like a child. Yeah. And remember, when a child turns 15, you can't tell them anything anymore. <laughs> oh, yes. That's a, and our children have grown up around Hempfest. And you know what? They're okay. No kid. Free your breast. Free your mind. Free your breast. Free your mind. Free your breast. Free your mind. <laughs> Hempfest 2010, we're the hemp's. We're out hemping the planet free in the weed. See, if we take this little seed and plant it in the ground, it'll help the entire planet. It'll actually save the world. Do your part, vote to legalize hemp and marijuana. Can I get the fuel? Yeah, yeah, of course. Wow. 
Every time I'm on the media talking about this, it's amazing to me how uptight people get. And when it's done, the, the, the mic's turned off, they say, thank you for speaking out. Across the board, I've been on every station around here, you know, and they're all nervous, they can't believe I'm talking about it. When it's off, they go, thank you, you're speaking about it. They can't. Everybody's worried about their jobs. It's a scary time economically, and with this prohibition and all the lies, and, and all the cowardice in our public, it's scary for people. Get your green card. And do not smoke in the car. Well, especially when you're driving, because that is the number one way that people are getting in trouble with cannabis. Seeds, clones, edibles, dry goods, seeds, clones. Oh, I need that. I need that. Edibles. And also know that when you eat cannabis in a brownie or something else, that it has a, a much, it can have a very much stronger effect and it's more difficult to titrate. It takes maybe 45 minutes to an hour and a half, sometimes two hours even to come on if you have other food in your system. So don't overdo it. And in fact, what this conference should be talking about is the use of cannabinoids and other less addicting substances to replace opiates. Hey, did you leave us? Get alone! You know, Europe is much more strict on driving while intoxicated than we are. And they're much more liberal about getting intoxicated. So they're able to give people the civil liberty, but maintain order. And that's something we can do also. You know, some, my, my travel business, somebody calls me up and they say, I just read what you think about marijuana, and we're not going to go on your tour, we're canceling out, we're telling all our friends not to travel with Rick Steves Europe either. And all I can think is, Europe will be much more fun without you. <laughs> Jack Harris, co-director of The Emperor Wears No Clothes. We're here at the Seattle Hemp Fest 2010, where we've kicked off the Prohibition Tour in honor of the late, great Jack Harris. We're making news and breaking news with our international friends. We want you to get involved. Come and sign up with Sensible Washington today. We need volunteers. I'm here. Hooray, another, another hero for liberty. Look, then we have the flowers. Hip flowers make human brain chemicals or neurotransmitters and medicines that help, help fight cancer, yeah. multiple sclerosis, yeah. neurodegenerative diseases, gastrointestinal disorders, yeah. relieves pain, helps glaucoma, stops seizures and spasms, and restores balance in the body, restores homeostasis. The flowers of hemp will also make you laugh, make you feel good, and relieve depression post-traumatic stress and anxiety. I truly believe that hip is our Mother Earth's greatest gift to humanity. Cannabis, hip, marijuana, I believe is truly the healing of the nation. So let our people grow. Restore hip. Hip for victory. Thanks for having me. I think that 
happen slow. Go to sensiblewashington.org. Help me out. Help yourselves out. Help patients out. Help farmers out. Let's legalize this thing. <laughs> So many business leaders who agree with us, but because of their financial nervousness, they cannot talk about it. There are community leaders, thought leaders, respected people that understand we're not pro-drugs. We're pro-freedom and civil liberties and pragmatism when it comes to dealing with drug abuse problems. I've made a point to talk with every one of our Congress people, our senators, our mayor, our governor, my pastor. They know what I think. They respect got my little lines down, you know, I know how to shoot off the torpedoes. I want them to know what I think. We all need to do that. If we did that more effectively, we would be a lot farther along and we'd be able to have a real celebration when we come to a gathering like this. Please, think of ways to do that. So my question is, okay, so since they've crossed this bridge, and it is a federal institution, is there any way to work through the VA, through the back door, so to speak, to try to get the federal laws changed? Is that worthy of an effort, or there's a lot of us crazy vets who, uh, Patients need to know that they have a safe source of supply and the people that are providing that supply need to know that they're going to be safe from arrest and prosecution. And until we clear this up across the board and stop this county by county enforcement practice, um, we don't know whether or not the people in Spokane are at some point going to get arrested and busted. You have a private compassion club and you best not talk about selling pot or you're going to go to jail with a controlled buy, okay? You have an affirmative defense with a doctor's note. Keep it quiet. Keep it between yourselves. Keep it patient to patient. You use the word exchange and you're in trouble. I, I, I'm only saying this because it's true, you guys. Smell. And things are changing. The VA hospital's changing. The federal government's changing. And we're changing it because we're Americans and that's how America's always worked. And America's not perfect. But we're here to make her better. And that's what being a real patriot really is got these people, patriots, you know, you know, we're patriots. We are the patriots, and we are Americans, and you will never hold us down because we're not criminals. We're not a threat to anything except a bag of potato chips. Come on, we've all dated. Everybody in here has had a boyfriend or a girlfriend. 
How many in here have felt like a cat on a leash or a fairy in a cage? Hollering, they got it from BC to Mendocino. Comparing weed growers to gangsters like Al Pacino. The when the drugs are legal, still gets burnt like the witches. Do so you think that's a fool for your brain to keep smoking? Because you dug so deep, this is for you. Yes. It's 20 bucks. You can put on a funny t-shirt and come down here once a year and we're never going to get anywhere. Join an advocacy group, make a political statement, tell your friends, make it not scary, and bring it out to the suburbs. This is good citizenship. Thank you very much. like to say to Hempfest? I never stop existing. <laughs> Always do it every single year. <laughs> this is the greatest in the world. I mean, what better? By the water, enjoying cannabis, enjoying like-minded people, peaceful, nothing better. I love it. Yeah, have a great time. Hempfest is fucking awesome, dude. Fucking awesome. Hempfest kicks ass. It was a great time, and we'll be back here next year. It's wonderful. It's just wonderful. Keep it going. <laughs> Rock on. <laughs> Don't get caught. I think it's an excellent experience. I'll be here next year. Everybody, just have a good time. No worries in the world. <laughs> I love you. And it's a simple thing. I'm just making it legal. I love you guys, man. Keep doing it. So we keep smoking. I mean, it's, it's nice because a lot of people are friendly and there's nothing that, it's not like you're going to a bar and people are having issues. It's 
it's a good place for people to get together and have a good time. And everyone seems pretty happy, so. We always need more volunteers, and they can sign up at HempFest.org. I love you, and this is my first time here. Thank you for having HempFest every year. It's a great attribute of Seattle. Thanks for being around so long. Thank you for having me. Um, thanks Pot for heads. putting it on, and it's like the best thing ever, and woo, hit best room. Makes the whole year worthwhile. You should have them more often. Um, definitely come to HempFest. Yeah, so I'm coming here next year. year. Um, HempFest, I love what you do. Keep it up every year, I love it. HempFest, you're fucking amazing. Thank you for sponsoring this, and have a good day. Keep smoking, still smoking, keep smoking. Yeah. And legalize it. Let's get it there. We need the boats. We need the boats. Hempfest fucking rocks. Thank you. Bye, everybody.